Mama, and I can't pay my bills yet. I'm lying on the sofa, and nothing feels real. My name's Max Wasson. Uh, I'm a rapper. I'm tired. And I'm here. In that order. <laughs> My music, uh, counterintuitive, doesn't make a lot of sense. I enjoy not following too much of anything, so if the track is upbeat, then I'd like to write it more sad just to give it something more fun to do. I get bored very easily by my own lyrics, by the song itself, so after two or three times listening through it and writing, I'll rewrite everything maybe twice and then see what that'll happen. I only, I'm the only one who write, writes my verses, definitely. I can have help sometimes with hooks, uh, depending on if you're with people trying to look for melody, uh, and if you're bringing in friends that are like in the studio just having a good time. But I'm the only one who touches my verses. Ah, with rapping, it, the flow, just going back and forth with different ideas and topics are, is a lot of fun. This is a very nerdy thing to really get down to, especially when you're trying to be like, oh, I'm a cool rap. It's like, no, I'm not a cool rap. I'm a, I'm a dude who likes lyrics a lot, which is a very nerdy thing to enjoy. It's very mathematical, very pattern-based. Well, if you're dividing things up into bars and beats, it's a bit like a hi-hat on a drum, where or on a drum set, where you could basically, in any flow that you want, just make that hat sound good. Yeah. And if it's just straight, it's going to be boring. But any drummer will tell you the more that you play with that rhythm, the funner and the flowier it gets. And it's the same thing with, uh, with hip hop. According to me. So the inspiration for the track is being broke, uh, not having money, uh, being poor, uh, having less cash. These are just synonyms for you know, being broke. Having a pretty shit time being broke too. I think a lot of people can relate to. Uh, you, you're growing up and you want to be able to, you want to be able to support yourself, support people around you financially, and you just can't. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. Well, I don't know if it's the whole aging thing, why it's called grow, or getting old, but the whole line or the go-to line that I thought was fun with the track was growing up's getting old, which is, has two meanings, of course, growing up is literally getting old, but it's also getting tiresome and annoying growing up, it's getting old. It's, uh, it's not as fun as you want it to. If the lyrics by themselves would be interesting enough, uh, it, it, they would be, and they maybe are, in North America. But after living in Sweden for about a decade, you notice how no one really listens, and no one really gets the lyrics anyway. So you have to make them really interesting at some point to try and actually get people to listen, but they never really do. So some of, the, some of my favorite songs that I've done are very sad songs, but they're upbeat, and it'll reward you if you actually listen to what it's about. You know, so then I think that that's one of the reasons why I get a couple fans rolling in or like, hey, I really like this track, I like the lyrics. And it's like, oh, so you actually listen to the song. But most people are just going to hear it, you know? Some do, and it's usually friends from North America, actually. Yeah, or, or fans from North America. They can write and they can have very intricate dialogue about, oh, I see what you did. So in Getting Old, there's the whole thing starts with uh, an ally in act has a beautiful backpack, but bullies be broke back who barter by bus pass. So all of this is going to be alliteration with a bunch of A's to begin the sentence, a bunch of B's, a bunch of C's, and then eventually a D. And I remember most people, it'll just go over their head anyway. You know? But I've had a couple of people reach out and be like, oh, that's really interesting, because the next line after that is, a, B, C's, that's the easy bit. So I'm talking about the A, B, C's while, you know, actually using the A, B, C's phonetically. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that whole story, an ally in Act Abs, that's about uh, a friend that you have when you're growing up is a beautiful backpack, you know? But bullies be broke back who barter by bus pass. So bullies would uh, take my backpack and then they'd sell it or they'd trade it for bus pass give or take, because 
That's what you need at some point. Uh, currently cool cats who couldn't count cut class. So they were, those bullies were, at the time, they were cool, they would cut class, and that's how they'd steal my fucking backpack. So they'd go to my locker and they'd take it, right? Uh, couldn't count cut class. Copping it, den dash. That's when I learned that ABC's that's easy bit. So even after all that, and even after they stole my shit, uh, that was still the easy part of life. Is And you won't think about that until later. How, oh, me being bullied in school, that was phenomenally easy with what you have to deal with when you're just 26, 20, 25, trying to make a living, you know, off something that you like doing. And that's sort of what the rest of the track goes into. Thing. As soon as after the ABCs thing, ABCs, that's the easy bit, it's hard trying to get ahead, tails when I'm flipping it, so hard trying to get ahead is just in any situation, but also head and tails, you know? Tails when I'm flipping it. Calling what's right ain't the easiest when it's someone else's penny that you're betting with, right? So now we're getting into actually being an adult. You know? When it's someone else's penny that you're betting with, it's like, hey, I'm on three different probably types of, oh, well, I've had that endorsement or that, and uh, cash up front for different types of tracks and stuff. And it's like, well, how do I play stack correctly when I know that it's not even my money to begin with? See the cents get lost in the governing banks when the pens they unchain for the customer's sake. Will you need that change? Will you first need change? What's rising, rent or minimum wage? It's like, hey, it's getting tougher. It's getting harder for everybody. What's rising, rent or minimum wage? Just wait, you think what the hell can we do? Cause a lot of clean debt you got the dirtiest shoes. When I was little I had something, something to prove. Now I have nothing, it's nothing to lose. And that's that little upswing, you know? If you got nothing, you can, you got nothing more to lose. You know, might as well just keep going. I gave myself goosebumps. I'm so clever. <laughs>